In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got my dream bike for under $3,000 and how you can hopefully apply these techniques to do the same. I've been dreaming about this specialized enduro for three years. Granted, it's not the S-Works Stormtrooper I wanted. I couldn't justify the $5,300 for this bike. I found the cheapest clapped out frame on pink bike for 1500 bucks and then spent weeks gathering these parts off eBay, Facebook marketplace, asking my friends for stuff, pillaging my own supplies. My actual cost of this whole table, 2507. So my assigned costs are 3,260. Man, it was a pain in the butt trying to figure out a boost crank set, but you got a new seat stay. The guy, it looked pretty good in the pictures. And then when I got closer, I was like, damn, I paid 240 bucks. And I'll tell you what, it's a lot of elbow grease. I'm gonna take it to the bike shop thing on this about 200 bucks first problem the SRAM guide levers are frozen apparently it's a super common problem the seller didn't disclose the Fox float x2 was blown I'll let you listen to it I'm gonna jank the headset together because Another seller didn't sell me the right part. So instead of marring up the brake caliper, I decided to get some snap ring pliers. So after getting completely annihilated by the brake lever and brake bleed service all day in a trip to Harbor Freight, screwing up the dropper post, I'm just gonna go ride this thing. The bike felt really good on the downhills, but it's got a whole bunch of more problems. This thing's really starting to turn into a nightmare. My actual costs are $2,582 to get a rolling bike. The assigned costs are $3,300-ish. This has been a lot of work to this point. I think I'm gonna have to make part two of this video.